Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Paradise Valley, Montana. Now, what I'm doing out here is I'm test firing a Caltech KS7 tactical shotgun. Now, look, I am not shooting this for accuracy. I'm not shooting this for penetration. This is a 12 gauge shotgun, by the way. I'm out here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to test this for recoil reduction. I got a video that I did a few days ago. I put a bunch of improvements or add-ons from uh, High Tech Custom Concepts up in New York. And I'm gonna, I got, I got 12, I've got six different 12 gauge rounds, two each. I got 12 rounds that I'm gonna test fire and, and see if the recoil is manageable on this. I've got a mixture of three inch and two and three quarter inch. And there I do have some real hot Magnum stuff. So here we go, let's stop burning daylight. Let's see how the recoil on this Caltech is using this uh, Howitzer 70 muzzle brake, this Packmeyer recoil pad and all the stuff that I said in my other video. Let's go. I'm going to be loading these up one at a time. Okay. Right here, the first round. This is a rifled slug. One and a quarter inches. Rifled slug. Federal. This is a three incher. This is hot. This is real hot. Yeah, one and a quarter ounce slug. Okay, here is some number two bird shot, three inch, federal, one and eighth ounce, this is some hot stuff, 1635 feet per second, this is three inch, okay. That was manageable. Okay, here's some two and th here's some two and three quarter inch, one ounce Foster slugs, Winchester. Got that? Two and three quarter inch, one ounce rifled Foster slugs. Okay. Right here is some two and three quarter inch. This is one and a sixteenth. Let me see this for sure. Two and three quarters, one and a sixteenth, number three bird shot. Okay. bit better than that three inch all the bit. Either some of these rounds are hot, they're real hot. Okay, I got a hot round here. This is three three inch uh Winchester one and five eights. One and five eights. Uh number four BB number four BB shot. 
This this will this will jar your eye teeth. This will make your dentures fly across the field. Kid you not. I got a sore on my finger here that's bloodied up a bit. I should be wearing gloves, but hey. Okay. Now, ah, let me change rounds here. Okay, let me try this slider stuff. Here is two and three quarter inch, one ounce foster slug again. This is some pretty speedy stuff, I do believe. Two and three quarter ounce, one ounce foster slug. Okay, here. Here's some different stuff right here. Two and three quarter inch, military grade. Got that military grade, double odd buck, nine pellets. Two and three quarter inch. Winchester's making this stuff. muzzle brake. I'm going to take a look at this muzzle brake. See if there's any chipping. Looks good. No damage. Nice. Nice. Some of this stuff I'm shooting is hot. Like this guy right here. This is a federal round. Okay, this is a hollow point slug. Rifled slug. Three inch magnum. Uh, one and a quarter ounce. One and a quarter ounce on the lead. Nice. Okay. Got through that okay. And my old finger's getting tore up here. I got a real bad sore there. I got, okay, this is one and five ounce, one and five eighths ounce, number four BB, three inch, 12 gauge, a bird shot. Okay. Pardon me for a minute, I gotta get a glove on. Nice. Yep. I would have to say old Carl Horman up there at uh, High Custom Concepts is 100% correct. I am noticing, to be very honest here, with the real, real hot stuff, which I've been shooting, it, it's still got a little bit of recall to it, but it really, on the lighter stuff, it really, the, 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 the recoil and the muzzle blast is lightened up a lot. Okay, here's some nasty stuff. Federal. Number two inch bird shot. One and an eighth ounce, three inch. This guy right here.
Nice. That's okay. Okay, got right here is some number, let's see, two and three quarter inch, number three bird shot BB, number three bird shot. Uh, this is a pretty hot little round, I do believe. One and a sixteenth ounce on this guy. I got one more to go. Here we go. Double lot buck military. Nine pellets. Okay. Like I say, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I shot six different kinds of 12 gauge ammo, a variety, two each. Okay. I hope I narrated this right because I do these videos all by myself. This gets to be a pain in the rear end. Besides that, it's very cold out here, but luckily the wind isn't blowing. Last shot, double hot buck, two and three quarter inch, military grade. Nice. Okay. Let me inspect this muzzle brake here. I'm seeing absolutely no damage whatsoever, no chipping, no fouling. I'm not seeing nothing. What are you saying? This is good. I would have to say overall. Now look, I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm 68 years old. I've been around firearms all my life. I'm going to say this. I'm going to give this to Carl Harmon up there at uh, High Tech Custom Concepts. He was claiming 70% reduction. Yes, I'll go along with 70% recoil reduction on lighter rounds. But on these really heavy three inch magnums, I'm gonna call this howitzer 70 muzzle brake right here. I'm gonna call it, oh, I'm gonna call it in all fairness at 40%, uh, 40, 40% recoil and muzzle blast reduction and that suits me just fine i just got done railing through 12 different rounds right there so that this is my physical testimony on uh on what i've done to dampen the recoil to to dampen the the erratic behavior of this caltech ks7 uh tactical shotgun okay and there we go that's all i've got to say ladies and gentlemen i just wanted to come out here and prove this to myself thank you very much for watching the movie file take care of yourselves and like i'm famous or infamous for saying we shall see you on down the pike adios my friends